ओम शांति <coughs> गीत बज रहा था कि पवित्रता के मंत्र दाता हमारे पर तुम्हारे लाखों एहसान है क्योंकि आज के युग में कौन पवित्र बना सकता है In today's world, the king or the or the beggar or everyone are impure. <coughs> In such age, Baba comes and purifies everyone, and He gives us the blessings of being pure. He says, "You are my child." By having the introduction of who. Father is, and from where he is from, and it becomes easy to become pure because we are as the Father, because we have the awareness of the Father. That we are the children of the Supreme Soul, the Supreme Father, supremely pure, and it becomes very easy and natural for us to become pure. So this uh, song is very nice. <coughs> Today is 28th Moli. Sweet children, who is teaching you? What do you say? Who is teaching you? God is teaching you. You have the jewels of knowledge. You have to do the business with these jewels. Give and take. Give, take it from the father and give it to others, and that's the business you need to do. You study knowledge, not bhakti here. Bhakti is different. Devotion is different, and the knowledge is different. Devotion means blind faith. And knowledge means understanding. He teaches you the knowledge because there's ocean of knowledge. The question: Which wonderful aspect that's fixed in the drama? The human being believed to be a divine activity of God and praise Him for that. <coughs> in fact, it is the. It's the part of the drama, but people believe it to be God's activity, and they praise Him for that. Which is that? Which aspect is that? Or tell me. Sissy, is it okay? Can you hear? Bhagwan ki lila samat ke, fir unki barai karte rehte. Every leaf is moved by God. What else? Tell something else. <coughs> Those who are sitting in the front line can answer. Someone is asking her to give a hint. She says, "Hint is the answer in itself." Answer. When they have a vision of the one they have faith in, they believe that God gave them that vision. However, everything happens according to the drama. This is God's greatness. On the one hand, they praise God. On the other hand, what do they do? They say he is um, omnipresent and defame him. <coughs> But in God, in in people's um, um, thinking, even saying God omnipresent is also praise for them. 
ये शब्द भी भगवान की गिलानी है so now god is teaching that saying omnipresent is defamation of god bhagwano vachan om shanti god speaks bachon ko ye to samjhaya hua hai it has been explained to the children what's been explained to the children that neither human being nor deities can be god bhagwan kaha jata hai gaate bhi hai they chant salutations to deity brahma salutations to deity vishnu and salutations to deity shankar <coughs> and then they say salutation to shiva the supreme soul ki shiva ko apna sharir nahi you also know that shiva does not have a body of his own shiv baba aur saligram rehti shiv baba and saligrams live in the corporeal world children also know that atmao ko deha ka baap parha and limited fathers teaching the souls deha ka baap hame parha rahi hai it's only we children know aur jo bhi सत्संग होते हैं वास्तव में कोई सत्य का संग तो है एक्चुअली बाबा से मनुष्य आके मनुष्य नो अदर सत्संग आर इन फैक्ट द कंपनी ऑफ द ट्रूथ परंतु वो सत्य का संग तो है इट्स नॉट द कंपनी ऑफ ट्रूथ बाब कहते हैं बाबा से वो तो माया का संग है दे आर ऑल द कंपनी ऑफ माया वहां ऐसे कोई नहीं समझेंगे कि हमको there in the other satsang no one would consider that god is teaching no one would understand that god is teaching us even when they listen to gita they consider it to be god krishna speaking gita ka day by day the study of gita continues to decrease because people's intellect continues to become tamo pradan and they the 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 apne dharm ko jante hi nahi the study of gita decreases because they don't even know the own religion krishna ke sath to sabhi ka bahut pyar hai everyone loves krishna krishna koi jhulate hai jhule mein jhulate it is krishna that they rock in the cradle tum bachche samajhte ho now you children understand hum jhulave to kisko jhulave who is it that you rock in a cradle shiv baba ko kaise jhulave How would you rock Shiv Baba? Shiv Baba, just me, Parvesh kar ya to usko jhulaye. You have to rock. Nirakar Baba ko jhule me kaise jhulaye? You ro- you have to rock the one in whom God God enters. Baba ko the baby can be rocked. The father cannot be rocked. Tum Shiv Baba ko jhulayenge? Jhulayenge? Would you rock, rock Shiv Baba? Krishna ka bhooto ko saakhat kar do. बाबा कहते तुम शिव बाबा को जलाएंगे नहीं वो तो बालक तो बनते नहीं ही कैन नॉट ही ही डजंट बिकम अ बेबी अ चाइल्ड ही डजंट कम इनटू रीबर्थ ही इज जस्ट अ पॉइंट व्हाई वुड यू रॉक हिम कृष्ण का बहुतों को साक्षात कर मेनी हैव विजंस ऑफ कृष्ण कृष्ण के मुख में तो सारा विश्व का गुलाब द होल वर्ल्ड इज शोन इन द माउथ ऑफ कृष्ण क्योंकि वो विश्व का मालिक बन बिकॉज़ ही बिकम्स द मास्टर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड तो विश्व रूपी माखन है बट सिंबलाइजेस द वर्ल्ड व्हेन ही ओपन्स द माउथ इसलिए विश्व रूपी माखन निकलता व्हेन मदर वांट्स टू पुट बटर इन हिज माउथ व्हेन ही ओपन्स शी कुड सी द होल वर्ल्ड इन हिज माउथ दैट्स द स्टोरी माखन के लिए those who fight amongst themselves also fight by the butter in the form of the world मुख में माखन का गोला दिखाते हैं ये भी अनेक प्रकार के साक्षात्कार होते रहते हैं परंतु अर्थ कुछ भी मनुष्य नहीं समझ पीपल डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग दे हैव मेनी विजंस बट दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग साक्षात्कार होता है हियर परंतु मीनिंग ऑफ विजंस आर एक्सप्लेन्ड टू यू चिल्ड्रन मनुष्य समझते हैं ह्यूमन बीइंग थिंक हमको भगवान साक्षात्कार का दैट गॉड गेव देम अ विजन ये भी बाप समझाते हैं बाबा एक्सप्लेन्स जिसको तुम याद करते हो हु मेवर सो यू रिमेंबर फॉर इंस्टेंस 
If they do intense worship of Krishna, then the desire, grand, uh, the, the desire um, are temporarily fulfilled. It's also fixed in drama. It would not be said that the God granted them vision. With whatever faith a person worships someone intensely, he has a vision of that. Baba says, this is also fixed in drama. It is the praise of God that he grants vision. What would uh, uh, people praise God for? They praise him that he grants visions. On the other hand, on one hand they praise him so much. On the other hand, what do they say? What do they defame? On the other hand, they say such great praise. On the other hand, they say God is pebble, God is in pebble, God is in stones, etc. They practice devotion with such blind, blind faith. They think, having had a vision of Krishna, I will definitely go to the land of Krishna. Baba says, I've had a vision of Krishna, I will definitely go to the land of Krishna. That's what people think. However, from where did the land of Krishna come? Baba now ex explains all of these aspects to you children. The land of Krishna has now been established. This is, what is this? <coughs> this is the land of Kansa, the, the demon. The Kansa actually was the uncle, the maternal uncle of Krishna. Kans, Akasur, Bakasur, Kumbhakaran, Ravan, all of these names are out of demons. They have written such things in the scriptures, all of these demons. <coughs> Baba says, it's uh, next, next topic Baba is talking about. It also has to be explained that there are two types of gurus. One type of guru belongs to the path of devotion. He only teaches devotion. And this father, however, is the ocean of knowledge. Who is he? What is he called as? His ocean of knowledge. What is he called as? He is called the Satguru. The others are gurus, but he is Satguru. He doesn't teach you devotion. <coughs> Sorry. He only teaches knowledge. Human beings experience so much of happiness on the path of devotion. They play trumpets, they, they play different uh, instruments in the path of devotion. This, this is all business of devotion. You can see how in Banaras they build. They build many temples to the deities. They also worship. They are, they are shopping stalls. Baba says this is also the business of devotion. And the business of you children is the jewels of knowledge. It is also called this business. Baba is also the jewel merchant. You understand what jewels these are. Baba says only those who understand this, a cycle ago, will understand this now. Who understood this? Please put up your hands. 
Who understood Saiklaga? Put up your hands, those who understood. Yeah, those who raised hand understood. Baba says they, they speak the story of uh, King Janak. What does this Janak become? They, they, uh, the Janak becomes Anu Janak. And if someone name, uh, someone's name is Krishna, then you would say um, you will become Anu, the divine Krishna. Look where the all virtuous, complete Krishna is, and then look where this one, the Brahma, is. Someone's name is Lakshmi and she goes in front of the idols of Lakshmi and Narayan and sings their praise. That he wants to share a joke. There was a child and the parents named him as Chajuram. When he used to go to school, all, all children used to say Chajuram, come. And Chajuram, they used to make fun of him. He, was, he used to wonder as to why others, other children make fun of me, mock at me. And he went to the parents and he, he asked them to change the name because people uh, laugh at me. And he said, I will, I will um, choose my own name. He was just going. And he was be uh, he saw a beggar begging, and uh, he asked, "What's your name?" The beggar said, "My name is the Dhanpat, means I'm a very rich person." And uh, another, she was pounding. She were, as he moved along, he came across a lady pounding. And he asked, what's your name? And he sa she said, my name is Lakshmi. Her name is Lakshmi and pound she's pounding the rice. So this name is not good. He moved along. He saw a corpse, a dead body, someone carrying, the, carrying a dead body. And he asked, uh, what's, this, what's the name of this person who died? And someone said his name was Amarnath. Amarnath means the one who never die, immortal. And he, was, he wondered as to his name is immortal and he died. <laughs> he said the Lakshmi was pounding and the the big, the did you understand the meaning? So everyone's was topsy turvy, but then but then my name is okay compared to compared to others. My name is better. Did you understand? The double phone is. Did you understand? Yes. Just raise your hand. She wants to make sure that you. <laughs> So what's your name now? So my, our name, our name is very nice. We are Brahma Kumar and Kumaris. We don't just give stories to others. We don't have, um, <coughs> we don't change our names. We have our own names, but our name is Brahma Kumar and Kumaris. Our names will never be spoiled. So someone's name is Lakshmi and she goes in front of idol of Lakshmi Narayan and sing the praise of, uh, of, the, of the deities. Yet they don't understand that there's a difference between her and them. Now you children have received the knowledge. What knowledge have you received? As to how the world cycle spins. You will take 84 births. This world cycle has continued to, to turn innumerable times. It can never stop. 
तो मैं सन्नाटक के अंदर शशि कौन हो Who are you in this play? तो मैं सन्नाटक के अंदर एक्टर यू आर एन एक्टर मनुष्य समझते हैं in this play human beings definitely understand that they have come to play a part in this play but then they don't they don't know the beginning middle and the end of the drama you children know that the place of the residence of our souls is beyond everything that's beyond there the light of sun and the moon doesn't even exist the children who understand all of this are usually ordinary and poor very intellectuals and very uh, educated wouldn't wouldn't understand this knowledge the ordinary poor children would understand this is because bharat was the wealthiest land of all and it is definitely bharat that has become the poorest of all the whole play is about bharat there is no other land as pure as bharat was pavan duniya mein the pure world there was pure land aur koi khand wahan hota hi no other land exists there no other land second or third baba is explained ye sari duniya ek behad ka island hai that the whole world is an unlimited Jaisi island just as lanka is an island they they say that ravan lived in lanka <coughs> now that you children understand what do you understand now sari duniya hi lanka hai In fact the kingdom of Ravan is of the whole ye behad ki lanka hai of this unlimited island the whole world is resting on the ocean and this is an island Ravan rules over it ye sab sitaye all of the sitas sab sitaye Ravan ki jail mein are in Ravan's jail abhi Ravan ki jail se hum chhut kar ke bahar aa gaye we have we all have escaped from Ravan's jail but then they had made a uh, limited stories that rama sita was abducted and and sita was taken away in such an isolated place and the the monkey gods built built a bridge and so many stories all of these aspects are of unlimited this is an unlimited drama within this drama the satan created all small plays those films have been created now to baap ko bhi samjhane mein sahaj so it's also easy for father to explain example dena it's easy for baba to give an example behad ka sara drama the whole unlimited drama is in the intellect of your children now kya kya buddhi mein aa gaye hain what's in your intellect now one is the drama what else is in your intellect about the incorporeal world the subtle world just you come down a bit subtle region and this cannot be in anyone else's intellect as to what is in incorporeal world and what's in subtle region etc so in you children know baba says you know that we souls are the resident of the incorporeal world the deities are the resident of the subtle region they also called angels there the cage of the flesh and the bone doesn't exist the role of the subtle region is for the short time now in the confluence age this is as long as the confluence age exists the subtle region is there now you continue to go to and fro and then you will never go again when your souls come down from the subtle region the original home you wouldn't you don't come via subtle region when you come down you wouldn't come via subtle region but when you go in you go via subtle region but when coming you come directly the subtle region has a role now all of these secrets are explained 
to you children. Baba knows that he's explaining to souls. Who's Baba talking to? Body is lifeless, but the soul living in the body is listening through the body. Baba looks at the soul and talks to the soul. Soul is listening through the ears. Baba knows that he's explaining to souls. None of the sages or sannyasis, etc., know any of these things. Baba says they can never speak of these things either. Baba speaks to the children. You wouldn't be able to talk without the organs. He says, I take the support of his body and teach you children. The vision of your souls also turned towards the Father, that He comes and teaches us. All of these aspects are new. No one knows about these things in the world outside as to how God comes and how does He go. <coughs> He's in Kapuril Father. His name is Shiv Baba. She said, she said, Shiv, that he says he is not a small child, he is Shiv Baba, says Baba. The name of you souls is soul. Anyway, the names of your bodies change. Human beings say the Supreme Soul is beyond the name and form. However, they still say that his name is Shiva. They also worship him. <coughs> they understand one thing but do something else. You have now also understand the name, the form, the place and the time of the Father. <coughs> you know that nothing can exist without name and form. If that is a tumbler, that's a tumbler. Everything has a name. That's a rose and that's a rose. There is no other thing without name. Then if there is no name, then it, there is no thing as well. So now you know the, the name, form, place, time of the Father. Nothing exists without name and form. This too is a very subtle aspect of aspect that has to be understood. <coughs> Baba ex explains, liberation in life within a second has been remembered. It means that an ordinary human being can become a Narayan. Although we have become the children of Heavenly Godfather, you would still be considered to be the masters of heaven. However, they don't even understand this. Baba says, many of you have the vision of the four-armed image that is Vishnu. This proves that they will become the masters of the land of Vishnu. You know that the heaven too, behind the throne of Lakshmi and Narayan, they have the emblem of Vishnu in heaven, just behind the throne of Lakshmi Narayan, they have the emblem of Vishnu, this is their reign and it is the land of Vishnu. It is to show that they are the emperors and it is their, it's their reign. <coughs> This Lakshmi Narayana, the masters of the land of Vishnu, this is the land of Krishna, uh, that is the land of Krishna, Baba says, this is a land of Kans. According to the drama, these names have also been given. Baba explains, my form is very subtle, no one can know it. 
They say that the soul is like a star, but then they have created a lingam. In Mount Abu there is a huge lingam for Shiva. Otherwise, how could they worship? They need something, a huge thing for them to worship and offer and etc. <coughs> when they create a Rudra sacrificial fire, <coughs> there is a nearby place where they create this um, Rudra, sacrificial fire of Rudra. There is a place called Siddhapur. It's quite near from here. There are hundred thousands of Shivlingas and they, they, they create sacrificial fire. <coughs> they make Shivlingam a shape like a thumb. Um, on the other hand, they say it's a wonderful star. It's very tiny, tiny saligrams. And on the other hand, they say uh, it's a wonderful star. In Jammu, a king has made a, a temple, has created a temple, Shiva's temple. He has made hundred thousand, nine lakhs. 900,000 shivling. So how would they uh, offer water? How can you wash, uh, wash and offer, offer worship? And now what do they do is they use a hose pipe and they wash through hose pipe. And Baba says, people strive a great deal to see soul, but no one can see. They also speak about Ram Krishna and Vivekananda, who said, I saw soul emerging from Ram Krishna and merged into myself, that is Vivekananda. Now, of whom would he had have a vision? The form of, of soul and the supreme soul is one and the same. The point, light, was seen. They don't understand anything. What sort of point? Is it a, a soul which is a point, the supreme soul, the point? No one wants to have a vision of a soul. They want to have a vision of God. He, the Vivekananda was sitting with the, with the desire of having a vision of God through the Guru. He just said it was a light and it merged in, into me. And he became very happy just with that. He thought that that was the form of Supreme Soul, the God. The pure feeling, feelings are kept for the Guru in order to receive a, a vision for God. But they don't understand anything. However, who would explain on the path of devotion of all these aspects? Now Baba sits here and explains to your children. In whatever various forms, to whatever extent you maintain pure feelings for them, whatever image you would look at, that is the vision you would have. For example, if someone worships Ganesha a great deal, he would see a vision of him in living form. He would def they would de definitely see Ganesh, otherwise the devotee wouldn't believe. I was worshipping Ganesh and why is another person come? Otherwise, how would his uh, faith be affirmed? When they see a form of bright light, they think that they are having a vision of God. They become very happy just with that. Baba says, all of that is the path of devotion, the descending stage. Devotion means descending stage. The first birth is good. And then it continues to 
decrease until it reaches the end. <coughs> Bhakti was also good in the beginning. They have good birth. And then it becomes tamapradan by the end. Only you children understand these things. This knowledge has now been explained. The same ones who had the knowledge explained to them a cycle ago. Only those of the cycle ago will come. The religion of oh, the rest is totally separate. Baba explains. Right, God speaks in each and every picture because all these pictures that we have is on on basis of God's God's Baba's direction. So right, on every picture God speaks. You need to explain with great wisdom, great yukti, that no one, no one become disturbed. So you need to explain with great, great wisdom. God speaks. What are Yadavas, <coughs> Pandavas and Kauravas doing? They continue to quarrel and fight amongst themselves. And what would Pandava do? They continue to have yoga with Baba. This is their picture. Say to them, tell us, do you know, uh, do you know your father? If you don't, no, it means that you have no love for the father. This would mean this would mean that you are the one with intellect has no love. If you have no love for the father, they are destroyed. A loving intellect is victorious, the truth wins. The meaning is accurate. Baba says if there is no remembrance of father, you cannot gain victory. You can, you, now you prove and show. What would you prove and show? That God was spoken, uh, sorry, Gita was spoken by God Shiva. <coughs> Only he taught Raja Yoga. Through whom? Through whom did he teach Raja Yoga? Through Brahma. Baba says here in India they consider um, it to be, consider Gita to be God Krishna's Gita and they take an oath on it. Ask them, should you consider Krishna or God to be present here? They say, witnessing, the, taking oath, I consider God to be omnipresent and I will speak the truth. So there is confusion, isn't, it? isn't there? How can Krishna be omnipresent? Krishna is just one person. The oath becomes false. There is a big confusion and the oath becomes false. The children who do, do service should have incognito intoxication. Baba says, if you explain with intoxication, there would be success. His study is incognito. The one who teaches is also incognito. You know that we have received the knowledge and it is we and it is imbibed number wise. You also have yoga number wise. <laughs> Baba says you should check yourself how much do I stay in remembrance. Baba says the result of this effort that you make now will last for 21 births. If you fail now, what happens? You will continue to fail cycle after cycle and you will not be able to attain a high status. Should um, endeavor to claim a high status. <coughs> 
some go to a center and also continue to indulge in wise such souls continue to go to the center also they believe that god sees everything and that he knows anyway Baba says, why would Baba wants to sit and watch that? <coughs> if you lie and perform vicious actions, you bring loss to yourself. Why would God uh, sit and watch you? You also understand that if you dirty your face, can't claim a high status. So soul knows itself that I dirtied my face and cannot claim high status. Whether um, Baba knows it or not, it's the same. Baba says, why should Baba bother? Your conscious, consciousness should bite you. By performing such actions, I will attain degradation. Why should Baba tell you? Yes, if it's in the drama, he also tells you. To hide it from Baba means to destroy the truth in the self. If you hide, the sins will grow. In order to become pure, you have to remember Baba. Just be concerned. What, are, what, what concern you need to just be concerned to study well and attain a high status don't be concerned about whether someone lives or dies only be, con be concerned about how to attain your inheritance from Baba therefore you need to be um, able to explain to anyone in, in short in brief Acha. Acha ke baad, aur Baba kya bolte hain? Mithe, mithe, mithe. Sikhi lade bachyum prati. Aat pita. Baap dada ka. Yad pyaar. Or good morning. Ruhani baap ki. Ruhani bachyum ko. Namaste. Ruhani bachyum ki. Ruhani baap ko. Yad, yad, good morning or namaste. The main points. First, remain in incognito intoxication and do service. Don't perform any action that would make your consciousness bite you. Check yourself as to how long do I stay in remembrance, as to how long I stay in remembrance. <coughs> Second, constantly be concerned, constantly be concerned about studying well and attaining a high status, studying well and attaining a high status. Don't bring about laws to yourself by lying or by performing any vicious action. Blessings. May you be a constant embodiment of power and with a pure feelings empower weak souls. The special service of the serviceable soul, uh, serviceable children, <coughs> the special service of the serviceable children is to remain an embodiment of power and also make others into the embodiment of power. That is, to empower 
weak souls. For this, become a, a, a constant embodiment of good wishes and pure feelings. Good wishes doesn't mean that whilst having faith in someone, you become impressed by that one. Don't make this mistake. Let there be unlimited good wishes. To have faith in a particular person is also dangerous. Therefore, remain stable in the unlimited stage and on the basis of the power that you have attained, make weak souls into an embodiment of power. <coughs> Slogan. The ornaments are the decoration of Brahman life. Brahmans are shown with different adornments. So ornaments are the decoration of Brahman's life. Therefore, become one who is holding all the ornaments and not arrogant. Alankar means ornaments. Ahankar means arrogant, arrogance. So become alankari means one with ornaments and not ahankari. It means not an arrogant one. Om Shanti.